Welcome back, everyone, to another discussion about the summer 2022 anime season. Holy shit, everyone, this is going to be the best anime this season, I think. We're talking about Licorice Recoil. Honestly, I don't know if it's pronounced Licorice or Licorice or something. Anyway, I'm going to call it Licorice Recoil because Licorice is easier for me to pronounce than whatever it's supposed to be. Anyway, this is amazing. Now, I want to say that the promotional video we watched was literally just like showing the girls and like them doing basically side quest kind of things, like just simple tasks and whatnot. And reading the synopsis doesn't do it justice. Here's the synopsis. A Japanese cafe in Tokyo serving delicious coffee, super sweet treats, and more. From making local deliveries to chaperoning to getting rid of zombies and even fighting a giant monster. Whatever the problem, stop by for a consultation. No matter the order, leave it to us. That doesn't even do it justice. Like, y'all, I need y'all to understand this is amazing, okay? So it centers around this uh, girl named Shisato, the blonde, white-haired girl on the left here, and Takina, the, the black-haired girl on the right. Oh, both are great. However, I gotta say, for, for some reason, Shisato gives me the vibe of Siesta from uh, The Detectives Already Dead. I don't know what it is about her, Maybe it's the fact that the clothing is somewhat similar and her hairstyle is somewhat similar. But, oh, so good. It, it is so good. Um, I love her as a character. It's, it's just amazing. That's all I can say. Uh, regardless, stepping away from that, it starts out with, you know, some stuff going down in the city. Uh, basically, there's these girls wearing this like similar uniform, and these criminals are very obviously about to commit crime. And then it like cuts to the like high school girls taking out or arresting or killing the criminals without the population knowing, and everything's like really peaceful and it's it's just insane. And then it cuts to this uh, scene where Takina, the black-haired gal, um, is in like this sort of like hostage situation against some arms dealers. And she basically gives no fucks and guns down the entire like group of enemies or criminals with like an RPK LMG. I don't know if it is an RPK. It looks similar. It's just a, a white machine gun just completely obliterates all of them. Um, this causes her to get basically demoted from this group. I, I think the group's called Licorice or, or whatever. I kind of didn't care about that part because I was just too immersed in everything else was happening. But so she gets reassigned to this cafe that Shisato works at. And apparently Shisato is the number one uh, Licorice in the like whole of Japan or whatever. Absolutely amazing. She, like, single-handedly stopped this, like, crazy big terrorist, uh, like, group that attacked, I think it was Tokyo Tower or something like that. But, man, it's just amazing. Uh, I'm going to say amazing a lot, I feel. <laughs> but, okay. <clears throat> I was not prepared going into this to see all this amazing stuff that was happening. Honestly, like I said, th this is probably going to be the best anime this season. Um, if you're, uh, you know, into this particular genre, like I, I did not expect it to be this cool or this amazing. Uh, I expected it to be like just these high school girls who were like doing odd tasks around the city. Uh, just from the synopsis in the video that I think we watched in the promotional uh, video video. But for them to be like secret police, basically, was just mind-blowing. 
Like, I, holy crap. I was just speechless when I saw the first episode. And I was like, what is the next one? Holy crap. It is going to be 13 episodes long, and I cannot wait. Oh, my God. And if this show keeps the same momentum it has in the first two episodes, it is going to be amazing. Like, the last time I was, like, this hyped for a show to come out, I I don't even remember when. I really liked, I guess, 86. That one was really good. And I think 86 and... Licorice Recoil were made by the same people, now that I think about it. Because uh, it's A1 Pictures, and I think they made 86 too. Which, so it makes sense that it's just amazing, right? And also, this particular one is also an anime original, which means it's not from a manga or a uh, light novel or anything like that. It, it's completely made originally for anime production. Which... Mm, if they decide to end it perfectly, it'll actually have like a decent end and there's going to be like no inconsistencies with the source material. The story's not going to feel rushed. Anime originals just have so much like to them that makes them better than adaptations from other material because uh, they don't have to, like I said, rush or like leave things out or uh, edit things to make it fit into a 20 minute window per episode or do a 13 episode season or whatever they can literally have okay we need this many episodes uh here's a story that fits in those episodes and that's how we're gonna do it and they can get that shit done now just how i'm feeling right now i could tell you i would want a second season of this i haven't even seen the whole thing and i'm like god damn i want more right man Seriously, check this one out. I'm going to stop talking now and wrap things up. Because if I continue to talk, I'm just going to keep saying how awesome this show is and just being like hype and repeating myself and rambling. So I need to end it here. But God dang, everyone, please check this show out. It needs all the attention it can get. I am absolutely serious. Like, check it out. Just watch the first episode and you'll just be blown away. It is great. So that's all for me, everyone. I really look forward to doing a final discussion on this one when the season wraps up. So look forward to that in like three months or whatever. But until next time, I will catch you later. Thank you for listening and bye for now.